got the pack wrapped out again. So in the last video, um, we tested the manual pump, which was this one, and actually does a brilliant job. Pumps this up in just over two minutes, I think, um, with a bit of effort and about just under three minutes if you have a little break. So it doesn't do a bad job, but I would like to replace that pump with something like this. Now this is my little Giga pump. I've had it years and it's given me years of faultless um, uh, service in, uh, when pumping things up like camping mattresses and things like that. Um, and I still think it will be able to pump this boat up. Um, now, we did test my tire pump with this little gizmo and this is something that will go into the what's known as a schrader or car valve and then goes this side goes into the boston valve of the um of the boat now i've been busy 3d printing again as i do and i've actually printed this little thing and one side of this screws into there and the other side slips over this. So now we should have a really good way of testing whether this will work. So what I've found is tyre pumps um, are all about pressure. So actually it turns out there's not much air in a tyre, uh, whether it's a car tyre or a bike tyre. But what you need is you need the air to be under a high pressure and that's where a tyre pump comes in. It doesn't really pump out lots of air, it pumps out pressure. These pump out air, but they're rubbish with pressure. So when you go and, it took me ages to find this, but when you go and actually find a little spec sheet, you find out that this will pump, I think, 190 litres per hour of air but the pressure is something like 0.65 PSI. Um, I have to be PSI, I'm British, so it's pounds per square inch. However, um, I'm thinking if, if it will blow up an air mattress, it's surely got to blow up this pack raft, if only to a certain pressure, and then, you know, maybe I could finish off blowing it with my mouth. It, it's amazing how much air is in your lungs and how much pressure your body can cope with. So it would probably only take two or three puffs to get it up to pressure. Now, the story doesn't end there, because I've got this pump. It is getting a little bit worn out, especially this little nozzle here. You know, it's, gosh, it, I, I did this when it was first brand new on the Kickstarter campaign and it is wearing out a little bit. You may be able to see, I use it sometimes to help me blow, keep, get barbecues going when we're camping and it's got a bit carbony in there and you know, it still works. It's still got, you know, it's still got a lovely little light there as well that, you know, works um, and it's still got a job to do. However, where did I put it? Over here, charging up is, new and improved Giga Pump. Now this isn't actually the Giga Pump, it's called a Flex Tail. So it's basically an Amazon ripoff, but it, it sold a hell of a lot. It's not much bigger, if you can see. Um, it's got a much bigger battery, and this will pump out 330, I think, liters per hour, and it will handle a little bit more pressure. So we've got a couple of pumps we can give a, a go, and these are tiny. You know, when you compare this to this, then, um, you know, we've got, you know, a significant difference in how much uh, is needed to be put in this bag. Um, also, you know, it doesn't wear me out, and I'm hoping that this will, will, um, will pump the boats up a bit quicker than what this can. So the only problem I've got is I've got to 3D print something for this before we can do the test. So I'm gonna do that now, and then we're gonna test these two pumps and see, you know, if we can get them to work. Ooh, as if by magic, we've got the piece 3D printed. It was an hour long print. Let's go and uh, just check the pump. 
This pump isn't charged up fully yet. So that goes over there. I put a little bit of, of electrical tape there for a better seal and also just to protect this little adapter. And then onto there, we'll undo the smaller pump adapter. And that will just go, there we go, onto the bigger pump. So we've got a bigger pump ready to go and we've got the smaller pump ready to go. So I think what we'll do, we'll test the, the smaller pump first and then we'll move on to the bigger pump after that. Hopefully that bigger pump will be charged up by then because I'd rather it was charged up fully to give it a fair chance because I don't know how much this pump is charged up. I've got semi high hopes for this motor but I've got big hopes for the bigger one. Okay, hopefully that will stay in. Oh, and there we go. I suspect at one point we're going to hear a pitch change and it's going to denote that it's not able to pump any more pressure into it. But we're nearly there. I could blow this up with my mouth now with three or four blows, I'm sure. Ah, there you go. You can hear it now. That's the pump starting to not be able to deal with the pressure. So let's stop it there. There we go. So that was 11.33, 11 minutes 33. That's almost at the point that you could definitely float it, but yeah, with just four big breaths there, that's about where you want. You don't want to over inflate a pack raft. So, yeah, it's nice knowing I can do it. I don't know how much battery is left in this, but it didn't seem to be struggling. Um, so, yeah, that's really good to know that that will actually work. So, time to deflate and get the big, boy, uh, the big boy out, and we'll give that one a go, see if we can get this uh, time down for, the pump, for pumping this up. Okay. We've got everything ready to go. All we need to do is get this kicked off and a time going. Let's just make sure we get this, uh, these different buttons on here. There we go. Right, got high hopes for this. So you can hear the pump starting to struggle, but it has pumped it up much harder. In fact, oh, 
how you switch this off. There we go. So that's actually 10 minutes 30, or 10 minutes 50, sorry, so nearly 11 minutes. But it has pumped it up. It has pumped it up much firmer. So that's a really good test. So I've had a theory. I've just printed out this new, this new, um, this new part, and I just tested it on here with the motor blowing through it. And I noticed that the old part, it blew, the, the amount of air coming out of here is pretty poor. With the new part, the amount of air coming through was the same. I don't think this has made any noticeable difference. So then the thought occurred to me, just, if you just press the uh, motor and feel the air coming out of this larger hole, it's massively more than what's coming out of here. So I think what's happening is this, this little hole in here is so small, it just can't get the air through this hole at all. So, I've wrapped some uh, electrical tape around this nozzle so it'll fit in the, um, the Boston valve here. I'm gonna see if we can blow it up that way and see how long that takes. So let's go and do that now. I'm making sure the valve is open. So when, it's, when we've inflated it, I'll just have to make sure that, you know, I quickly close that and then maybe a couple of mouth uh, blows with my mouth and it'll be fine. So I'm gonna set this off. There we go. And set the stopwatch off. Yeah, there we go, it's to there. One minute 30. Okay, so it's been fun, because as you know, I'm like a software engineer -y guy. It's been really fun playing around with all these little bits and bobs and this thing here. Um, but it turns out, all I needed was some electrical tape <laughs> around this. And we shove it in and it'll be fine. I've got a funny feeling the little mini giga pump is going to inflate that almost as quick as well. In fact, I think we should, just for completeness, I think we should attach... Does this work on there? No. We'll see if it's got the part. Wait there. Has it got a part? Yeah. Just seeing if it's got the right part. Yeah. I think we should get some electrical tape on this and see if the little mini giga pump works. I'll give it a time at least. And then I think we'll have to end this <laughs> series about this pump here. But yeah, one thing for sure. Yeah, we've kind of worked out how to do this. This is great. Right. Final test. Here's the, the original Giga Pump uh, with the little uh, valve with the tape on. Because this little stick here is a bit broke, I'm going to have to hold on to it. Um, uh, it doesn't fit so well, that doesn't anymore. But let's give this a whirl and see if we can get close to the, uh, the score we've just had. Right. There we go. That's four minutes, so a little bit more than half, uh, half the power there, but definitely acceptable. And you know, you've had to make no effort to do that. Um, so there we go, there we go. So in conclusion, 
what can we make from this? Well, first of all, these pumps are brilliant and they'll actually pump this thing up just as I thought they would. But you can't pump them through these tiny little holes of these Schrader valves and actually the whole, the other end of this is even smaller. Um, my 3D printed accessories definitely work, but with that Schrader valve, they take 10 and 12 minutes, which is it's too long really. We're gonna knacker the pump. Um, turns out the little inflatable adapter with a little bit of tape around uh, the Boston valve there is actually the way to go. Um, with this one, it was one minute 30, which was amazing. This one about four minutes, which is really good considering, look at it, the tiny little things. However, what have we really learned from all of this? Yeah, the good old fashioned <laughs> arm power is probably equally as good. We got a time of two minutes 30, but that was really, I was quite tired doing that. I was really going for it. Um, so I'd say this would come in roughly at three minutes-ish, but you know, this takes no power uh, other, than, other than me power. These take a little bit of battery power, but they're only five volt and they last for ages. So, you know, one of these lasts me a whole camping trip actually blowing up um, a, a mattress. I hardly ever have to charge it up. Um, so yeah, so there we go. It's brilliant to know that I don't have to take that with me. I can just take this with me to inflate and deflate the pack raft. Um, hopefully that was, <laughs> hopefully that was enjoyable. Um, this sort of inflating and deflating the pack raft turned into a bit of a pump thing, but I hope you like that. Um, it's always interesting to know what pumps work. Oh, the, and then what else we learned was the tire pump that I use for my tires. Well, that just, it would pump it up, but it took ages. In fact, I think I let it run for 30, 35 minutes and it still wasn't half full. So, you know, we know that we need volume of air and those don't give us that volume of air. Incidentally, I did test that pump on my van tire and it pumped it from 40 PSI to 50 PSI uh, really quickly, you know, as quick as the ones down that the, the fuel stations do. So it's not faulty or anything. So there we go, there we go. So I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I'll catch you in the next one.